Yo, what is up you guys, your boy Swagcoon, back at it again with another video and today we are going to be going over the brand new leaks that have just dropped, showcasing the brand new anniversary units, as well as their jutsus and you know, a little bit of predictions, you know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, let's get straight into it, your boy just finished working out, so if I look a little bummy, that's why I finished I sat down, I hopped on Twitter for a minute, and I saw that this popped up. So first of all, we'll go over this and what this means and some other stuff. And then we'll get into the leaks, which I saw on Discord. Shout out to whoever posted it in the official NXB Discord. Um, I, I don't know who actually posted it, but shout out to you, my boy. Anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So first things first, on Twitter, NXB posted this yesterday, last night, that we actually achieved the roundup mission goal, which means we will all be getting 100 Shinobites when the anniversary comes around, if you guys can kind of see that right there. I don't have the English translation. I don't know where it's at, but the 100 Shinobites is right here. Now for the next one, they then posted this right here, which is supposed to be a teaser for the units that are coming out. This dropped yesterday, I believe, last night, right? 11.28 at 6 p.m., yeah, so I saw this last night. I was gonna make a video about it, but a video on some chopsticks or some knitting sticks, you know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, that's all right. But now that we got leaks, now we about to get into some juicy content. So from this, everyone was like, oh, it could be obviously the last units because Hinata stitched the scarf for Naruto or knitted the scarf or whatever, and this morning, this is what we got, baby. Here are the official V-Jump scans for the last Naruto and the last Sasuke. So I, okay, so here's the HD pictures, right? So first let's go ahead and look into the pictures just so we can kind of get an idea. And then I have some roughly translated pictures, but the quality is kind of bad. So let's go ahead and look into these first since these pictures are a little bit more HD. So starting off, we got Naruto and Hinata. The card art looks amazing as always. And it looks like they went a little different with the artwork, actually. It looks really dope. Um, it looks like they're gonna combine do some kind of combo attack or something like that, which is really, really dope. As you guys can see, there's the animation in the middle. It looks like it's going to be a full room X ultimate, I hope, which looks really, really nice. For this next one, it's KLM Naruto, well, him with his KCM cloak, KLM cloak, whatever, with the uh, planetary Rasengan, which is nice because we have not seen a planetary Rasengan in the game for a really long time, ever since... KCM Naruto, the OG KCM Naruto, was the one and only Naruto that actually got a planetary Rasengan Jutsu. So to see this back in the game, really, really dope. We should expect this planetary Rasengan Jutsu to look fairly similar to how KCM Naruto's looks. So if it is, that's going to be really dope because it's just one Rasengan and it shoots out a massive like beam shooting forward. That would be really, really nice. Next up, we got... Uh, the last Naruto looks like a the punching jutsu that he does at the end of the movie Gets a whole bunch of nine tails chakra into one hand and punches forward Maybe it could be a barrage type jutsu like how Baryon mode Naruto's is maybe it's just a one two You know that that one two wombo combo two for one special I don't know, you know, I guess we'll have to wait and see and finally it looks like we got a Rasen shuriken Jumping up into the air and throwing a Rasen shuriken down with the boy dripped out in his casual clothes in the winter fit You know what I'm saying that should be really really dope and next up. We got the last Sasuke I Bro, this art looks so... It's like they went in a different direction, but it looks so dope. This reminds me a lot of, like, uh, NXB Ninja Tribes, if you guys had, had ever played that. Kind of like a really thick outline style. Like, I really, really think that's dope. Um, I think his X-Ultimate right here, I think that looks like a meteor. So, if you if y'all have seen the movie, obviously most of y'all have. When the meteor comes down, he Shidori's it, and then it makes a massive explosion. So, maybe he'll call down a planetary devastation and shoot a Shidori up into it, making a massive explosion, you know, full room X-Ultimate. This looks really, really dope, man. And I know a lot of y'all might not be too hyped about the last units, but I'm actually really hyped for the last units. Look how drippy both of my boys are, bro. Like, these are my two favorite fits. Like when I feel that they're the most swaggy, for real. This is swag approved, for real. Uh, what is this? Damn, the quality is kind of tough on this, too. They all look like Shidori's. They're all Shidori's, 100%. This one, I can't tell if that's, like, an Amaterasu, um, imbued with the Shidori, so maybe that could be some kind of similar to, like, Wandering Ninja Sasuke, where he shoots the Shidori forward, maybe, like, a Shidori stream forward or something like that with Amaterasu. That could be pretty dope. Uh, this looks like he has his sword in hand. These are kind of blurry, so I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? If I'm wrong on these predictions, it's just from what I'm seeing. It looks like he has a sword in his hand. Maybe this could be some type of slashing Shidori combo. Maybe similar to, 
Again, we're in Josasuke's old Amaterasu Jutsu, where he shoots Amaterasu forward and then slashes in a bunch of directions. And finally, this one looks like Shidori's stream. So it looks like, um, I don't know if you, like Final Valley Sasuke, when he does his X Ultimate, he jumps into the floor and then leaves a massive Shidori like lightning pool. Maybe this could be something like that. Maybe he jumps into the air, sla slams his sword down on the floor and leaves like a massive Shidori lightning pool. That would be really, really dope. So those are my predictions. Let's go ahead and see the rough uh, translations. I will inflict damage that ignores this. So again, these are very, very rough translations, but I'm guessing ignoring sounds like maybe he's going to be ignoring um, nature resistances. So maybe it ignores all nature resistances. Maybe it's effective against all types. So like how people have youth trophies and uh, maybe this is a red type jutsu. So if it's a red and nature jutsu, maybe it it ignores that resistances it ignores the resistances for certain natures i don't know but that's the only thing that i can really think of because this looks like a four star jutsu so i don't think that's going to be the limit break uh so yeah there's that for this one ran forward and charged up his chakra okay so this is going to be a running type of jutsu and he runs and does like a massive punch or something he ran forward charges up his chakra deals damage with the high probability of hitting with your fist so this is going to have a high accuracy jutsu which is really really nice um Maybe this one's high accuracy and this one ignores evasion. Not too sure. It could be nature resistances. It could be evasion. We're not really too sure yet. But so far, the buffs are looking really, really good. Um, and the damage is looking kind of nice. He might actually be an attack type unit, hopefully. So we'll have to wait and see. We haven't had an attack type Naruto since KCM Naruto. So that'd be really, really dope. Um, and finally, give and then start. That's kind of rough to translate. I mean, unless like he does a jutsu... Maybe it's a two-step jutsu, like he throws something. So like, maybe like a Jiraiya jutsu, if you guys remember Jiraiya's Limit Break, he shoots like a, a, a massive like toad thing, and then Naruto comes out of nowhere and throws a Shadow Clone. Uh, Rasen Shuriken, maybe it could be something like that. Maybe he throws a Rasen Shuriken, and then another one jumps in the air and throws one too. Not too sure, but it sounds like it's gonna be a two-step jutsu. So that's Naruto. Um, and this is he not, I don't know why it's sideways, but. Cooperate with, cooperate with Machete, with Machete. Obviously, this is Machete. I, I thought it was Hinata. How could I forget that this was Machete? My bad. Cooperate with the Machete to be unable to fight only once in case of super extraordinary damage and ignore the respawn. So ignoring the respawn is revive cancel, which is very nice. So it, it it'll uh it has revive cancel, which is very good. But be unable to fight only once in case of super extraordinary damage so is this saying like if you use the x ultimate and it doesn't kill they're unable to fight like are they paralyzed like do they have every debuff in the game like like night guy remember night guy this is a throwback bro but when night guy uses his his ultimate um he literally has every debuff in the game. He gets sealed, he gets paralyzed, he gets confused, he gets slowed movement, and he's just stuck doing for hella long. You know what I'm saying? So maybe if they survive this hit for whatever reason, like a, a, a veteran mission or a really difficult Shura roundup boss, maybe they'll get stuck and paralyzed or something. I'm not too sure. That's what it sounds like to me, but we've never heard of that before. That sounds really, really interesting. Um, so him and Machete, right? So now let's go ahead and finally, oh no, that's nothing. Uh, do damage that ignores gender. <laughs> do damage that ignores gender. Well, thank God, because I thought he was only attacking females out here. Or I thought he was only attacking guys, but he really said these hands are ready to eat for everyone, bro. It don't matter. <laughs> Ignoring gender is insane, bro. I'm sorry. Ignore <laughs> Ignoring gender is wild. Okay, so I'm guessing this is probably going to be ignoring nature resistances or maybe evasion or something. Or maybe my man is just a all-out Black Air Force energy, bro. Ignoring all genders. Everyone can catch these hands. I don't know, bro. We'll have to wait and see. But definitely ignoring. I'm, I'm guessing it's nature resistances or evasion. So pretty similar to Naruto's, which is nice. Uh, yeah. After launching a series of high-speed attacks. All right, you feel me? You, I'm kind of nice with these predictions, bro. I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be like a flurry of like lightning slashes or something with the sword uh, Use black to inflict damage with a high probability of hitting use black 
<laughs> these translations, when I say these translations are rough, they're fucking rough, bro. Use black, like, pull out your inner black Air Force energy. My man is on demon time right now. You, I'm guessing that's Amaterasu, obviously, but use Amaterasu to inflict damage with a high probability of hitting. So again, high accuracy jutsu with a lot of slashes. Very, very nice. I'm guessing the, it's the same as Naruto, man. Hopefully the first jutsu for both of them is a, um, ignore evasion. Uh, but I'm guessing it's ignoring resistances. And then the second one is high probability of hitting, so they both have high accuracy, which is very nice. It's gonna hit. <clears throat> And the last one, the power of the sword is a technique that deals damage. So this is obviously going to be the one, like I said, he's probably going to jump up in the air, slam his sword on the floor, and leave a massive Shidori pool. Uh, kind of similar to Wandering Ninja Sasuke's Susano one, where he slams a Shidori on the floor. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, do they have anything for... Oh, here it is, sideways. It will shatter the sky with the Shidori, and the resulting blast will deal huge damage to the song on the floor. So I'm guessing this is just gonna uh, do a lot of damage to everyone on the same floor. It would really suck if Sasuke did not get revive cancel because Naruto does. But then again, I mean, like I said, the translations are a little rough, so maybe it just didn't capture all of that. So those are the leaks, guys. I I'm really excited. I'm really, really, really hyped. Naruto the last, aside from Sage Mode and Naruto, is probably my favorite version of him just because he's so dripped out, bro. And in the movie, they make both of them look so OP. Like in Boruto, aside from Barry on Naruto, like they they nerfed my boys pretty hard. Both of them. They're not that great in Boruto. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, Borushiki and Kawashiki are stronger than them, unfortunately. And it's like, come on, bro. Like, we really been going through this. This man's glow up for like 15 years of our lives and you're gonna do them dirty and bored so like that's crazy but i'm really really excited let me know what you guys think about the last units are you still gonna summon on baryon or are you gonna go crazy for the last because i'm gonna go crazy for the last units baryon <clears throat> i got his jutsus you know what i'm saying um i don't need his new x ultimate i'm more excited on the last units and obviously as always if baryon's your favorite character go crazy but I do recommend waiting for the last units to come out on Friday because Baryon Banner will, I mean, it's a rekit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Jutsus will be there. So, I'm hyped, bruh. I'm really hyped. I'm about to go crazy for anniversary. Let me know what y'all think about the last units, man. And what do y'all think about Sasuke's Black Air Force energy? Hands rated E for everyone. But, as always, thank you for watching. Stay swaggy, stay blessed, and I will see you guys in the next one.